Nela Noll. My name is Flavia. My name is Margot. So my name is Julian. My full name is Jack Delano. So my name is Adham. My name is Enrique. My name is Raitis. Uh, R-A-I-T-I-S. My name is Araz. My name is Alvaro. Uh, my name is Bansa. Uh, my name is Emil. And how do people pronounce it? Um, usually Emil. Your name? Saad. And how do people pronounce your name? Do you want one version? <laughs> um, it's always Nella. Um, there's been some weird other variations of that, like Nela. Don't know where that came from. So I've gotten Adam, Adam, Adham. Uh, there's a guy who calls me Adham, which is like weird. <laughs> my actual name is like Mahgul, and almost no one calls me that, like including my parents. <laughs> so Mahgul is fine. People say Azar, Araz. Um, some people have also said Arab <laughs> and if someone has, hasn't seen me before, they think that I'm a guy. People just call me Alvaro or Alvaro or even Albert. <laughs> I think the most common one is Flavia and that's normally from like a professor. Uh, people usually mispronounce it by anglicizing it, so they call me Julian or Julian. But emphasis on the first syllable instead of the last. Her name's so odd. <laughs> Her name's so odd. That's the one. <laughs> uh, the most common ones are Enrique or Enrique. I once had this girl in the US write Andrequa on a receipt. That was funny. Bens or Benche, dif differing where the people are coming from uh, who are asking or trying to pronounce it. But I didn't really meet anyone who's not Hungarian and could pronounce it correctly. The most interesting mispronunciation is if a person is South Asian or um, like from like India, Pakistan, Bangladesh and <laughs> they're reading my name off so like if I don't introduce myself but they're reading it off so they call it Mughal because of the <laughs> history so yeah so, and then I raise my hand and then they're very confused why I'm a woman so that's always fun. <laughs> I'll say that. <laughs> yeah. How do you pronounce that? Um, I don't think people just like my 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 roommate actually pronounced it like set us up the it just like never ends. But yeah, that one people have a hard time. What? It's a strongly Arab name. It's like especially the H after the D really throws people off. They're not used to, to pronouncing the two sounds together. Um, Ritus. I actually mispronounce it. I, I pronounce it differently in English and I pronounce it differently in Latvian. So in Latvian the R is a little different. So I have to go in my Latvian mood. Raitis, while in English it's Raitis, where it, it, the first sounds different. And do you have any tricks to help people remember your name? Uh, several. So freshman year I started off by saying that you can, if you want to remember my name, just gotta write this down. So write this. Uh, now as a senior, I am very, uh, I am diseased with senioritis. So, uh, and when I'll be 65, I might have arthritis. Uh, so, those are some of the tricks. Does your name mean anything? Like Flavia or? Yes. Yeah, it means golden hair curls. Not really accurate, but you know, it's part of the game. <laughs> I like, I guess it does mean something, but not something that has ever meant anything to me. I only found out about it when I started studying Mandarin and my teacher asked me what my name meant to be able to give me a Chinese name. I think it was like some positive things like I think hardworking and trustworthy and I don't know, yeah. What is your Chinese? Uh, Ai Kai. <laughs> Mine doesn't have any special meaning, at least not that I know of. I know there is a soda in Ghana that's named Alvaro. Um, but yeah, no other meaning. My parents, I've asked my parents, There's, they had no reason whatsoever for it. <laughs> Yeah. My parents named me after a river in Armenia, it's called Araz. The Spanish translation, that was something I became aware of upon my freshman year here. Um, somebody mispronounced my name in such a manner that it sounded like the Spanish word Stelano. And his Spanish-speaking girlfriend just burst into tears laughing, so that was fun. Uh, it, it's a Germanic name, it means powerful house. 
but the significance to me, and the reason why it bothers me, honestly, is uh, it's gonna be a long answer, but bear with me. We live in an era where there's this political figure that says, this is America, speak English. And people seem to have this idea that it's cool to anglicize your name or that you are somehow responsible of making things easier for people. And that goes fundamentally against what I believe because I don't owe that to anybody. My identity is not a simple thing. So that's why it bothers me when people don't try. I honestly don't really mind that much just because um, since the four years I've been in NYU Abu Dhabi, um, I've just been conditioned to respond to anything even remotely resembling Adam or Adam, so I got used to it more than anything. I mean, I think given that my name isn't even like a German name, so it's like a, my brother made my name up when I was born, um, so it doesn't really mean anything, and so I don't really have an expectation that people would know my name because it's not like a common name like Anna that people have ever heard of before. So I don't think that I ever have an expectation and like, it's always a good conversation starter most of the time. I stopped caring. Like it happens way too often now. It's just funny. <laughs> That's it. Um, in the beginning when I got here, I kind of felt bad, but after some time I just got used to it. I feel honored when they try again, <laughs> but a little bit less honored when they don't care. <laughs> I understand that it's a bizarre name for someone who doesn't come from uh, my region, so um, I I don't think I have, I definitely have no negative feelings about it. Sometimes it might be a little amusing, but definitely no hard feelings. Yeah, it depends a little bit on my mood. Sometimes I even introduce myself as Emil because I've also been in an international environment for the last seven years now, so I've heard so many different subtle shades of my name that I just kind of react to everything, even sometimes when people say email or I'm gonna go grab a meal, that's, that, that, that gets problematic, yeah. And is there anything else you wanna share about pronouncing people's names, mispronouncing names? Try, <laughs> just, that's all. Just gotta try, the same as Swan said. <laughs> uh, no, I, 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 think, I, I think it's important to, just, just knowing names in general, I think is a super important skill to have because it, it connects people very easily if you remember someone's name after like having spoken with them just once. Uh, so I think knowing someone's name is a great path to just a more in-depth uh, relationship. I think maybe an interesting thing that uh, isn't considered at times is that while most of the time it's nice when people uh, try hard to get your name right, it can actually also, like there's a reason why sometimes you just introduce yourself with like for example Emil which is the more anglophone way of saying it because it's less effort than having to constantly teach and correct people and actually like once in a while it happens that someone's so intent on getting your name right that it's just like a bother. Um, so there's also that side of it which can actually, people can try too hard. <laughs> um, just. You know, try it really hard, but don't be, don't be bothered if you can't pronounce your name because it's really depending on your mother tongue and the types of uh, voices that you can pronounce in your tongue. So, like how French people can pronounce H because they just can't. That's how their language works. It's kind of cool that we're in a situation that people are mispronouncing your name. It's kind of better than like everyone knowing how to pronounce your name.